Hi there. I'd like to have a quick look around my settlement at Starlight Driving. Um, there's one technical issue that I'd like to just go over just before we get too far into the tour. Um, I'm playing on PlayStation 4 with no mods. So anybody who's been to Starlight Driving will realise that there are these skeletons haunting the place generally around the central area where the water is now I thought it might be a good idea to just try and ignore these completely so what I did initially is um, I just put these foundation blocks down you, you see I can't build over them directly but if I put one in place the next one will snap in over the top of it so that's basically what I did. I put these foundation blocks in over the top of the skeletons and then I thought, oh well I can forget all about these now. And um, that was a mistake because I came back to the settlement a little later on and I could hear a terrible rattling sound and I thought, what the heck is that? And I realised there was about five or six skeletons underneath the foundations screaming to get out basically so luckily I have an explosive rifle so I managed to shift them out of the way in this fashion I better just wait till this trading caravan passes otherwise I'm gonna get caught up in a fight that I don't particularly want Yeah, so basically I just had to use the explosive rifle to gradually shift these things out of the way. It is quite tedious. I mean, you can use grenades as well, but that's a little unpredictable. So if anybody else has ideas on how to shift these things, if you're playing on a console with no mods, it'd be lovely to hear what the, ta what the um, tactics are for anybody else that may be having problems and um, how you go on if you don't have any explosive weaponry I have not got a clue but anyway we'll get on with the tour yeah my settlements I always start off with good intentions of building something imaginative and they always end up looking like giant warehouses or fortresses but that's just me I suppose that's just the way my creativity comes out or lack of creativity but it is what it is so let's have a look around anyway so this is what I decided to do with the water I was in two minds about whether to cover it up completely but I thought no I might as well put it to some use so I put a water purifier in there fenced it off looks like a bit of a construction site but there we are maybe I can do something more with it I'll have to give that some thought I've put a couple of generators in here which is adequate for the lighting I actually wanted to put more lighting in here but I've built so much on this site now and I've used the scrapping glitch a few times and it's got to the point now that the game has started crashing occasionally particularly if I fast travel away from this location the game crashes so I'm actually a little bit nervous about building anything more like adding lighting or adding further decoration I've got some amenities for the settlers a little bit of decoration I have a clinic down here if you need fixing up let's get a look at you with a small sick bay off to this side I've put in a kind of little cafeteria area here and obviously you can see a bar 
in this bottom corner. Another day of hard work. It never changes. A good place to obtain pool cues and pool balls, if you want to put in a pool table, is if I just go to the map. The Shamrock Tap House is a good location. If I can find it. Now oh, there we are. Not too far from Postal Square and Good Neighbour. They've got three pool tables in there. So you should be able to get a few balls and cues. And obviously you can just keep going back there once the area respawns. Right, up onto the next level. There's not really much on this level. I've got a couple of dormitories for the settlers. One there. One there. Yeah, this floor has pretty much become a, an access area, really, to the gardens and the stores. So I'll just show you the gardens first so yeah I have these like overhanging ledgers for the gardens I think they look quite okay actually yeah you'll notice the game is looking a little bit twitchy and obviously I've got some turrets scattered around. Need a lot of lighting yeah. at night. Yeah, even though I have quite a bit of lighting installed, it is still pretty dingy actually at night time. I'm glad I decided not to put full floors in and have some of these like open areas so at least I could put these these lamp posts in where I have these mezzanines installed and let's go out to the trading area Nothing too fancy. Just what you would expect. If you ain't been up to see Grey God, you should go. The whole place is run by robots. Yes. I'll try and make the traders look the part for the items that they're supposed to be selling. Yeah, I've got a few weapons on the display racks here. Hi, how are you? Up on the next floor. I've got another couple of bedrooms. In my head canon, these are the quarters for the officers, I suppose. They have their own sink and toilet facilities. A little bit of a social area. Although you wouldn't be able to listen to much of the TV with all this weight training going on. couple of display cases in. It was actually after I installed these that the game started crashing. <laughs> so I did want to install some more but I thought it might not be a good idea. Perhaps I will risk adding some more things and just see how it goes. I have actually abused the scrapping glitch a lot more than this at some other locations. I built a ridiculously large settlement at Red Rocket once upon a time 
and I didn't really have any problems with that apart from frame rate drops. I didn't get any crashes really, but um, perhaps it just depends on the location. So this is supposed to be a crafting area. There's a lot of space wasted here as well. I want to add more things, but again, I'm a little bit nervous due to the crashing situation. Yeah, this is actually the first settlement I've ever built at Starlight Driving, so there have been some issues at this place that I've not encountered before at other sites. But um, yeah, it's all a learning experience, and it is quite a long time since I played Fallout 4, actually. I only a couple of months back reinstalled it on the PlayStation after not touching it for three or four years. So yeah, I've got a T51 and I think we have a T60 over here. And here is extra generators. So there we are folks, that's the best I've been able to do at this location. Yeah it's quite large and empty. I think I need to learn a few things from this build and maybe um, slim things down a little bit in future, not get too carried away with the absolute surface area of the thing. So yeah, there we are. That's my attempt at a settlement at Starlight Driving. I hope... Um, there have been some points of interest and um, thank you very much for watching bye bye